Hi everyone, I thought I'd make a video explaining how I use children's board books for my sketchbooks, which I call workbooks. I really like using these books because they have this, um, obviously this hard board that they use for the pages and the, the glue that I use um, uh, works really well with the board. Obviously the board takes the glue well and doesn't warp. I find them at thrift shops, um, used books shops, etc. I don't do anything to prep the page. I'm just collaging with them. Uh, but if you wanted to use something directly on the page, like paint or some other medium, you probably should gesso it. Or not, it just it's up to you. But I would I would think that the gesso would help um, because the Almost all the pages are glossy, um, and I think the gesso would probably help, but I don't do that. I use gel printed papers um, and, and other papers. Um, like for example, this is just tissue paper. Here's some more tissue paper that I gel printed. And then here's just a standard weight paper that I also gel printed. You can use any kind of paper to collage. For glue, I use matte medium. Um, I find this works the best for me. I don't like a glossy surface, so the matte really, uh, I really like the matte. I apply with a brush. So I literally just put the paper down, apply the glue right on top, Take the brush and then apply it to the page. To protect the pages underneath, I add jelly paper. You can use any kind of paper, wax paper, etc. I just happen to have this around and I put it underneath of the spread that I'm working on just like that. And then I can add the papers here and it protects it, protects the page underneath from the glue. The matte medium, as you can imagine, go, kind of goes everywhere. So this helps uh, protect the pages. Once I have uh, the page how I like it, I let it dry just like this. Usually maybe an hour works, but it. Um, I, I usually try to let them dry for about uh, uh, in 24 hours to you know one to two days. Once I have this, once it's dry, I then have to trim it out. So I have this mat, cutting mat, and I'll lay it like so. I'll take my straight edge with my X-Acto knife or blade and trim this out. Turn it, trim it out, etc. And then it's cut nice and flush with the page. The pages are almost always rounded. So you'll have to trim that out right there. Sometimes the spines may break. If you look at the books, they have this really interesting spine right here. The books are perfect bound, which means they're glued, but then they have this wrap that goes around. Sometimes they break because you're putting, uh, you're, you're adding material in here and it makes the, makes the book get thicker. If that happens, it's not a big deal. Here's one that's not that broke and I just taped it. You can see right here, how it kind of broke. This actually can work to your advantage because when it breaks, it allows for that excess material in your book. If it doesn't break, the book would, when it, when it, would, when it lays down, it would pop open like that. So this sometimes I do on purpose so that the book lays flat. 
I hope this answers some of your questions about using children's board books. If you found the video helpful, please bookmark this video and share on Instagram. Thanks for watching.